welcome to Instructor Live. My name's Carly. I'm going to be your instructor for this aerobics class. Now, all you're going to need for this class is a mat, some water, and a towel. Now, if you're new to Instructor Live or new to aerobics, then this class is a really fantastic way to get your body active, okay? We keep going, it's a continuous class, so we learn the movements one after the other and we try not to stop. But it is beginners, so don't worry, we won't be doing anything too high intensity for today's class. So if that sounds good to you, then join me and let's get started. Okay, so we're just gonna start with a march, we're just warming up the body, okay? So we're going one, two, three, four, good. So when we're doing our marches, we're thinking about tucking the elbows in, good. We're thinking about our knees being nice and soft. We're thinking shoulders pulled down, okay, good. And we're also thinking belly button to the spine, all right? And uh, this is basically what I want you to think about for the whole class, engaging this core stability, okay, because it's what's gonna help us do all our movements today. Okay, so take your feet wide for me, good. So like I said, if you are new to aerobics, then if any of the movements today just aren't quite sitting with you, come back to a march and then join back when you can, okay? Bring your feet in for me. Good. Let's go out for eight. Let's go eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in. Two, three, four, good. Okay, one more time like that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. Good. Okay, let's halve it and let's go for four. Out, two, three, four, and in. Good and out, in, good, just like that again, out, and in, belly button to spine, out, okay, we're gonna halve it again, guys, we're gonna go for two this time, we're going out, in, out, and in, good, good, eight more like this, I want you to remember this footwork, because we're coming back to this during our routine, okay, this is the last one, look for the change, okay, we're keeping our feet here, Okay, watch, we're doing a step point. Point. Yes, good, okay. Just put your hands here for now. Good, get used to this. Really working the legs as we're transferring the weight. Okay, let's, let's pop a shoulder in there. Two, going back, good. Nice relaxed elbows so that we can really lubricate those shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Forwards, one, two, three, four. Let's do eight more. Two, three, four, five, six. Watch for the change, guys. We're reaching across, okay? Opposite arm to the side you're going. Good. Leaning forward slightly, okay? And really sucking in the belly. This is just warming up the torso, warming up the spine. Good. Keep going. Let's do eight more like this. Let's go in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, watch for the change you're going. On, up, two, good, yes. Excellent, guys, well done. Good, keep going. Good. Okay, watch for the change. We're gonna pop a curl in, okay? So curling the legs to the back, good. Excellent, keep the shoulders down. Good, really warming up those hamstrings now. Good, keep the knees nice and soft when you pop it down and you're transferring that weight. Good. Let's do eight more like this. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Watch for the change. We're doing a step tap to the right. We're going step tap, tap. Good. Again, keep those knees nice and soft. Good. Excellent, guys. Well done. Keep going. Okay, once you've got this, let's pop the arms in. We're going out, out. Good, nice, good. Eight more like this. And then we're just gonna change the arms slightly. Good. Okay, watch the change, the arms going up. Up, down, up, down. Good, when you're pulling down, I want you to really think about pulling down your shoulders and your back. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, watch the change. We're doing step heel. Yes, good. Again, when you're pulling your arms, you're doing a bicep curl, really think about squeezing that bicep, okay? We're activating, waking up those muscles. 
Really think about bending on your legs, okay? We're still warming up the hamstrings and the glutes. Good. Good, guys. Give me eight more like this. Okay, we're going eight, seven, six. Lean the body forward slightly. Five, four, three, two. Oh, good. Okay, march it out, guys. Okay, go grab some water if you would like to. I'm going to grab a quick squid myself. Okay. Once you've grabbed that, just come back. Let's just get back into a march, okay? We're going to start learning the first part of our routine, okay? So remember in the warm-up, we did our feet out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, yeah? We're going to basically do doing the exact same thing, except for when we do our feet out, they're going to come slightly further forwards, creating a V-shape with our bodies, and this is called our V-step. Okay, so join me when with you can. Right, left, right, left. Yes, good, guys. Keep it going. So you can challenge yourself in this. You can sink down into the floor as you go forward. So that's going to work the backs of your legs and your quads a little bit more, okay? So it's up to you what level you want to choose. Let's pop in an arm, okay? Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Same arm as leg. Good. Excellent, guys. Keep going. This is too much. Keep the hands here if it's too confusing. Okay, let's do eight more. We've got eight, seven, six, five. After these four, we're tapping on the left leg and we're going to repeat on the other side, okay? Ready? Last one. Tap. Tap. Yes. Good, guys. Keep going. Just like that. Remember sinking in. That's it, really pull the shoulders down, work those backs. Three, two, we're gonna tap onto the other side. Here we go, tap, right foot goes, one, good. Nice one, guys. Go. Okay, four more like this. Four, three, two, one, tap to the left, go left. Yes. Keep going, guys. Nice. Four more. Still suck the belly button in, okay? Good. Okay, we're tapping again. We're gonna go to four this time, guys. So four, four, three, two, one. To the left, tap, yes. Two, three, four. Tap it again, one. Good, one more time like this, and then we're gonna go down to twos. Okay, because the aim is we're going to do what? Tap, one, good. Two, okay. Get ready, guys. We're going down to a two. Here we go. Tap, one. Two, tap, tap, one, good. Exactly like that again. Tap, one. Okay, we're going to go for the ones, guys. Ready? Five, six, seven, tap, one. Tap, yes. Good. Tap. A few more like this, guys. Tap. Good. So that foot coming in is the one that's going straight back out again. So we try not to put too much weight on it, okay? Good. Excellent, guys. Give me four like, like, like this, okay? Four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, march it out. Hold it here. Good, shake those arms out. I know that's a lot of work for your arms. Yeah, but it's really good for toning. Great for your back as well, okay? So bring your feet out. Join me when you can. We're going back into a step point. Okay, you remember the curls we did in our warm up? Let's just do a few of these. We've already done this move, so we should know what we're doing, but we're adding this to the end of our V steps, okay? So just join me when you can. Let's pop some arms in here. Yeah. Good. Eight more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, okay. So let's sandwich those two together. So we're going to do our V steps. Change, 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 change. We're going to do four V steps. Straight into our hamstring curls, okay? Let's do it all together. 
Ready? In four, three, two, one. Off we go. V step. We're going one. Change. Yes. Change. Change. Hamstring curl to the right. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Hold it there, guys. Exactly right. Let's do that one more time, okay? This time we're going to keep going. So once you've done your hamstring curls, we're going to go straight into our V-steps, okay? Ready? Let's off we go. In four, three, two, one. Off we go. One. Tap. Yes. Good, guys. Tap. Yes. Hamstring curl to the right. Four. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. Straight away into the V-steps. Going one. And tap. Good. Tap. Good. Eight hamstring curls. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Again, off we go in one. And tap. Good. One more. Good. Eight hamstring curls. Eight. After this one, we're going to halve it again, guys. We're just doing two V steps and four curls. Off we go. One. And tap. Four hamstring curls. Four, three, Two, one, off we go. Two, three, tap, good guys, well done. And four, three, let's do that again. One, tap, good. Four hamstring curls. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, tap. Yes, good guys, good. One last time, okay? One, and tap, let's really get in our bodies. Four, three, Two, one, good, okay, hold it there, guys. Just go back to a march. Good, okay. Next step, follow me when you can with the twist in the knee. Knee, knee, okay? Now, the whole technique behind this, what we're thinking of is keeping the body nice and tall and long. We don't want to be doing this, okay? So, in an effort to get your knee high, we don't want to be sacrificing our back. So, let's keep it nice and tall. And if that means your knee comes here, that's fine. Yeah? Good, let's add some arms if that feels comfortable. So up, down, up, down. Good. So nice and tall. Good, guys. Really think about that back working, not just the arms. The back keeps nice and strong. Good. A few more of these. Again, if you want to keep your leg lower for now, fine. If your leg is fine, you want to keep your hands here, that's cool too, really. Five, six, Seven, eight, okay, hold it there, guys. So I want you to remember that step, because we're gonna be coming back to that, and we're adding it on to another step we do, okay? So I just want you to remember the feel of it, okay? Good, join me when you can. We're gonna go into a side step. We did this during warm-up, okay? Tap, tap. Good, just this much. Good. Okay, we are gonna turn this into a double tap to the side, okay? Join me when you can. It looks like this. We go double tap and double tap. Tap. Good. Keep going. Good. Tap. So again, just like the V steps, that tap, tap, no weight on it because it's the one you're picking up. Good. Excellent, guys. If you feel comfortable, let's pop an arm in. The arms are going up, down. Good. Again, really think about the back. Really working the arms, good. Okay, so we are gonna turn this into a grapevine, okay? And I know some of you may have done grapevines before, in which case, you can keep going on them, yeah? You can get going with your grapevines. If you are new to a grapevine, then I'm gonna show you what you're doing. Try to keep doing this. If it's too confusing, go back to a march, okay? Until you can join me with a grapevine, okay? So it looks like this, I'm gonna slow it down. You go side, behind, side, tap. Side, behind, side, tap. Side, behind, side, tap, that's it. Side, behind, good. Join me when you can with this. Side, behind. So that passing foot always goes behind, never in front, behind. Good, two more. Good. Guys, let's do it full speed. Ready? 
four, three, two, one, behind. Behind, good, yes. Good guys, keep going. Good, a few more like this. If this feels comfortable for you, pop the arms in already. The arms are going up, down, just like we did on our side steps, okay? You've got the room, you can really step this one out, okay? This is too hard for you, pop the hips here for today. You can always do this program again, yeah? And the more you do it, the more you can do everything. But if it's just about getting your feet right today, then that's cool. Good, keep going. Okay, so remember the knees we did before we started our grapevine. Okay, we're just gonna add one to the end of our grapevine and it looks like this. Knee, knee, yes. So it's just adding that extra layer of challenge to your grapevine. So it's up to you, you don't have to do it if you don't want. You can keep the foot down, yeah? If this is too confusing, you can keep the side step. That's also cool, okay? So you're going. Knee, remember, nice tall body. Good. Good, okay. Nice. Good. Okay. Give me four normal ones. So no knee. Tap. 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 Four with the knee. Knee. Good. Knee, knee, four normals, good. Four with the knee. When you do the knee, you might want to twist slightly towards that knee, okay, to help you balance. Give me two normals. Two with the knee. Good guys, two normals. Again, pop your hands here if the arms are too much right now with the knee, good, twice more like this guys, nothing, with the knee, knee, so a little twist on that knee, nothing, nothing, with the knee, good, okay, march it out, good guys, okay, so now we have our second little section, we're going to join the first part of the routine that we learnt into that second part, okay, so just march me, we're just going to talk through it. So we're doing our V-steps into our curls, four, into two normal grapevines, and then two grapevines with a knee. Okay, let's try and add all that together, okay? So breathe in for me, and out. Okay, breathe in. Good, and out. We're going in four, Three, two, right leg, we're going one. Tap, yes. Four curls, four, three, two, two grapevines. Grapevine, nothing. Grapevine with the knee, if you want to. Yes, hold it there guys, brilliant. Let's just do that much again, okay? That was really good, well done. Okay, ready? In four, three, two, one, let's go, off we go. One, tap, tap, four, three, two, one. Here we go, one, two, two with the knee. Let's keep going this time, straight back into the V. Off we go, one, good. Four curls, three, two, one, great mind. One, tap, with the knee. Good, let's do it one more time, guys. One, that's it, really working hard. Four, three, two, one, grapevine. Nothing, grapevine with the knee. Yes, one more time like this, guys. One, tap, four, four, three, two, grapevine to the right. Nothing, with the knee. Good, knee, good, yes, hold there guys. So if you want to, you can always add the knee into all four of those great lines if you want to challenge yourself more, okay? Yes, yeah, just for a bit of variety to do two and two. But if you want to work harder today, by all means add in that knee. Good, okay, so we weren't the first section 
of our routine. Okay, so just follow me when you can. We're going walk, 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 tap. Tap, walk, 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 tap. So it's a really similar footwork to our side step, yeah? Keep going. So we're going right, left, right, tap. Good. Tap. 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 Good, we're gonna move this forward, so join me when you can. We're walking forwards. We're going one, two, three, tap, back. Forwards and back. And forwards and back, good. Tap, remember there's a tap, not four walks. So we're going right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, good. Keep going. Let's add some arms, the arms are going up. Arm, pump. Good. Arms. Pump. Good. Tap. Good. One more time. Keep going, guys. Excellent. Tap. Good. One, two, three. Pump. Good. Excellent. Okay, hold it there. Okay, so some of you may have done these before. They're called half jacks. And we're just tapping our foot to the side. So it looks like this. Tap. 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 Tap, tap, good. So changing legs every time. Good, keep it going. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna add the arms. The arms are going sideways. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. So really think about pushing the shoulders down here, lifting the elbows from the back. Good, squeeze when you come down if you can, okay? So that we're not just flinging the arms out, we're actually activating those muscles that are moving. Good, keep doing this. A few more like this, good. Okay, keep doing this. I'm just gonna show you a slight variation of this. We're just gonna change the arms a little bit, okay? I'm gonna do a slower version just to show you. So it goes like this, you're going punch together, tap together. So same feet, slightly different arm. So you're doing the same arm as leg, so right arm, right leg. Left arm, left leg, yeah? Join me when you can. And we're pulling it back in, okay? Elbows tucked in, shoulders down, good. Stomach's in, good. Let's speed this up. So we're going one, two, three, good. Excellent, guys. So it's exactly the same feet as your sideways, um, as the one before. You're just changing your arms a little bit, okay? Good, two, Three, and if you want, you can start crossing the punch over, okay? If that feels comfortable for you, punch it slightly to the diagonal. So we're just, just using this just a tiny bit more than normal, okay? Good, keep going. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, hold it there. We're gonna add those together, okay? So we're doing some walks forwards and backwards. We're doing our sideways, with the arms sideways, half jacks, forward, backwards, punching, okay? Let's do it all together. We'll try a bit of a mixture of all of them, okay? Off we go in four, three, two, one, right leg, off we go. Walk, two, three, tap. Tap again, walk. Good, half jacks. We're going eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, walking forward. One, tap, tap, tap. Okay, punching this time, right leg and right arm. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hold it there. Good, okay, let's keep going. Do it one more time, this time we're not gonna stop, we're gonna keep doing it, okay? Forwards, backwards, side arms forwards, backwards, punches, okay? Ready, off we go in four, three, two, off we go forward. One, two, three, pop. Good, and forwards again. Good, sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, walking forwards, going right leg. Yes. So remember that tap is the, tap, is the leg that goes out to the side, so Tap those sideways all the way. Yes, I'm punching this time. Good. 
Let's do this again. Let's halve it. So just once forwards and back. Off we go. Tap. Four half jack. Twelve. Three. Two. Forwards again. Rowing. One. Two. Three. Punch. Yes. Punching this time. Right. Left. Right. Off we go. Forwards. Two. Three. Tap. Half jack. Side arm. Four. Three. Two. One. Going forwards. One. Yes, guys. Back. Okay, punching arms this time. Punch. Two, three, one more time going forward. Yes. Half jack. Half. Two, three, forward. Backwards. Punch. One, two, three, four. Good. Hold it there, guys. Nice, guys. Well done. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to add both sections together, okay? So just give me a breathe and open. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Just march it here for me while we talk through it. So we have, we have two Vs, four hamstring curls, four grapevines, two without and two with a knee. Then we have walking forwards and walking backwards. And four, three, two, jacks forwards and backwards and jacks the side with the arm. Okay, we're gonna do it all the way through. So let's have a go, ready? Off we go. Off we, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, tap. Four hamstring curl, two, three. Go in, great vine, no leg. Great run with the knee. Walking forwards after this, guys. Ready, forwards, off we go. One, two, three, tap, tap. Good, four jack. Four, three, two. Walking forwards, walk, tap, backwards. Punching, one, two, three, four. Good, okay, march it out, guys. Hold it there. Really, really good. Okay, this time we're gonna do it one more time. And we're gonna keep going, okay? We're gonna see if we can do it two or three times in a row, okay? So just give me another breath in. Good, and breath out. Good, shake it out. Okay, so let's go for it now. And remember, starting on the right leg. Ready? Off we go. In, four, three, two. Right leg, here we go. And tap, yes. Four curls, four, three, two, one. To the side, one. No, hit, uh, hit knee, 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 yes, going forwards. Good guys, one, two, three, tap, back. Four jacks, four, three, two, one, forwards, one, tap, back, punch, punch, two, three, forwards, good, one, good. Four, three, two, one, sideways. No knee, good, no knee, with the knee, good, going forward, one, tap, good, half jack, four, three, two, forwards again, one, two, three, tap, and punch, guys, let's do it all again from the top, you can do this, ready, right leg, V step, V, tap, good, four, j four jacks, four hamstrings, good, Go one, two, three, tap. Two with the knee. Good, knee. Forwards again, off we go. One, two, three, tap. Half jacks. Four, three, two, one. Going forward. Good, backwards. Punch, punch. Two, three, hold it there. Good, guys, that was really good. Okay, I want to do it one more time. Okay, so just take one more breath. In we go. Good, and breathe out. In four, three, two, let's go. Off we go, and one, tap. Yes, inside, four jacks. Two, three, four. No, great fine with the knee. Great fine with the knee. Now with the knee, yes, good. Okay, forwards off we go. One, punch. Four jacks, four, three, two, forwards again. Whoa. Well done, guys, with a punch. Punch, 
two, three, off we go, one more time, two, three, tap, good, one, two, three, good, to the side, no knee, that's it, when you get tired sometimes the arms go, be strong, tap, one, two, three, last time guys, one, and tap back, punch, punch, two, three, four, good, hold it there, well done guys, really good job, okay, just march it out for me, good, and take the feet wide, good, well done guys, okay, watch for the change, we're going to do a step, tap, step, tap, good, okay, we're just cooling it down now, before we do some toning on the floor, good guys, keep it going, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Just give me a couple of step heels. One, two, three. Good. Excellent. Eight more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Okay. So you're just going to hamstring stretch, leaning over the legs, okay, make sure you keep a nice straight back here, lean forwards, okay, if that's too much with the heel, uh, with the toe up, pop the foot on the floor, okay, make sure a knee is in line with the toes, hold it there for me, well done guys, good job, good, okay, lean forwards, we're just going to do a quick calf stretch, I'm sure lots of you have done this before, but Make sure you've got a nice straight line between the heel and the top of your head. So sometimes you have to lean forward slightly. Okay, hold it there. Good. Ah, well done, guys. Okay, just come up onto that front foot and take the other foot, ankle. Okay, make sure here, when we're stretching our thighs, that our knees are together. Okay, arm out here if it helps you balance or if you want to hold on to something, um, that's fine. We can do this or this, or this, whatever you like, yeah. Good, hold it there. Good, and swing that foot forwards. We're just stretching the hamstring on this leg again. Good, make sure you're nice straight back. Again, if you want to pop that foot down, that's fine. Okay, hold it there. Good, and just lean forward, just a quick calf stretch. Good, before we get onto the floor, and then we'll do a bit of toning, and then we'll do another little stretch at the end as well. Good. Okay, come up onto that leg and just pop your hand on the ankle. Whoa. Whoa. Not very good on this side. Okay, that's it, knees together. I'm up wide, try and balance. <laughs> good, hold it there. Good. Okay, good. Shake your legs out, guys. Nice job. Okay, go grab your mats and I will see you on the floor. Okay guys, thank you for joining me on the mat. So we're just sitting um, on our bottoms with your heel opposite your hips, okay? Make sure your knees are apart. We're gonna do a few sit-ups. Um, so we have a few different options. Before we start, you should feel a nice uh, sort of natural curve in the spine here. When we're doing our sit-ups, we want to think about pushing that spine into the floor, okay? As we do our sit-up. We're crunching, but we're also sucking flat as well, because that's going to work for deeper muscles, okay, around the abdominals. Make sure that your knees don't come together. Make sure they stay apart, okay? You've got a couple of different options. So option number one, if you're not, um, if you're not very familiar with the sit-up, okay, you can bring your hands here and you can run your hands up and down to your knees as far as you can go, okay? Option two you have here across the chest, okay? We're just lifting our body up. Remember, really pushing that spine into the floor. Option three, okay, if you want to challenge yourself, you can pop your hands by your temples here. Okay, we're just going to do 25 rest and another 25. So we're going to do 50 in total, guys, okay? And then we might do a couple of pulses at the end. So prepare yourself wherever you would like to pop your arms. Remember, think about pushing that spine into the floor. Okay, and off we go. Here we go. And one. Good. Two. That's it. Imagine that you have a fist or a ball here, so we're keeping a nice gap 
between your chin and your chest, okay? Good. That's eight. Don't be tempted to do this, guys, and pop your arm here, because that often pulls on the back of your neck, okay? So you want to keep your chest nice and open. Good. Squeeze. I'm really sucking in that belly. Good. Okay, we've got nine more. Two. Three, good guys. Four. Last one, guys. Good, okay, have a relax for a second. Okay, so we wanna aim to get our shoulder blades just off the floor, okay? If that's not happening, that's totally fine. It's just one of those things that the more you do it, the stronger your abs will get and the better you'll get at it. Um, but that's what we're aiming for, to just get a bit of air between the floor and our shoulder blades. Okay, so prepare yourself again, wherever you're gonna go, either here, here, or here. We're gonna do 25 more, guys. Ready, four, three, two, one, and go, good. Good. Really squeezing. Try not to drop down. Try to lower yourself down with control. Good. If you are holding your um, hands by your temples, try to keep the elbows out as well, yeah? Good. We've got nine more. Two. Three. Four. Good, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, last one. Good, well, relax. Okay, just relax for a second. We're gonna finish with just a couple of crunches, okay? We're only gonna do eight and a rest, and then potentially another eight, okay? So again, make sure your feet are opposite your heels, opposite the bottom, opposite your hips, knees apart. We're doing three crunches and a rest, and it looks like this. So it goes one, two, three, and rest. One, two, three, and rest, okay? And every time you're trying to keep your shoulder blades off of the floor again, just go as high as you can, okay? So choose your area where your hands are going. We're going in four, three, two, one. Off we go. And squeeze, two, three, and pulse, two, three. Remember, really squeezing that back into the floor, two, three, good. Halfway there. Good, four more, four, and down, and squeeze, two, three, and down, two more. Good. Excellent guys, okay, have a rest for a second. We're gonna do one more set, then we're done. We're just gonna finish with a little bit of stretching. Okay, so place your hands. Off we go. Four, three, two, one. Last time, one, two, three, down. Good. Remember, really keep that space here and no hands behind the head, no pulling on the back of the neck. Good, four more. Last one, guys. Good, relax, okay. Just bring the knees into the chest. Just hold it there, it's feel nice on the hips. If you want to, you can give yourself a couple of hip circles, okay, if that feels nice. Just massage into those hips and really relax them after all the hard work we've been doing. Okay, give them a, okay, hold them into the chest. Good. Okay, while your um, legs are there, I just want you to extend one leg and just keep this one into the chest as much as you can, okay? Keep it nice and straight and parallel, so knees opposite, opposite the shoulder, okay? Try not to push it out too much. Just hold it there for a second, good. 
and change legs. So bring the other one back in and just slowly reach the other one out. Okay, it might be that you have to then lower your knee a little bit. Okay, or you can keep it in if you have the flexibility in your hips. Hold it there, okay. Okay, just bring the other leg in for a second. I want you to cross over one leg. Okay, it's sitting, your ankle is sitting below the knee of the other foot. You're making a right angle with this leg and you're shooting one arm through. Behind, above the knee, okay, the bottom of the thigh and you're just holding it there for a nice glute stretch. Good, hold it there. Try to keep your tailbone on the floor, guys. Try not to come here, okay? It might be that your legs have to go a bit lower depending on how flexible you are in that area. Good. Okay, just switching the legs, so the other one across. Remember, don't rest it on the kneecap. Try and do it slightly above the knee there, okay? And one arm through, remember. There, grab the back of the leg and hold it. Good. Good, okay. Just extend your legs for me. Rolling onto the belly. We're just gonna stretch the abs out after our ab workout. Okay, so pop your hands, tuck your shoulders in for me. And I just want you to push up just initially, just on the elbows, okay? And that might be enough for you. You might be able to feel it. I can feel it there actually already. So if that's enough, you can hold it here. If you need a deeper stretch, if you can't quite feel that, Okay, you can always push up onto your hands. Okay, and then you should feel a nice stretch in your ab. So whichever feels more comfortable for you. Okay. Make sure in this position, we still push our sh shoulders down. It's still an active stretch, okay? So try not to sit too much into the shoulders. Okay, push, push the shoulders down, that's it. Good, hold it there. Good, okay, lower yourself down, fabulous. Okay, just roll onto your side and push yourself up. Okay, just come round, sit facing, facing me. We're just gonna do a little stretch. So, <clears throat> pop, I'm sure plenty of you've done this before. It's a lovely yoga position. Pop the soles of your feet together, okay? And just relax the knees out, okay? You can either hold it here, support your back if that's enough, or you can, if you feel comfortable to, hold your ankles. Good, and hold it there, you should feel a nice stretch just to relax the hip joints and the inside thighs. We've got loads of stretch classes actually, lots of yoga and pilates as well if you are looking to increase your mobility and your flexibility. Yeah, and if you do want to try any more aerobics or something more challenging like HIIT, then pop on to Instructor Live. We've got so many programs there for you to choose from and lots of different levels as well, whether you're a beginner or whether you are a fitness fanatic. Good, okay, from here, just extend your legs to the side for me. Last stretch, all we're gonna do is relax forwards, okay? This is a really good one, stretch the inside thighs. Okay, it could be that you can go all the way, flat chest on the floor, if not, just resting on your hands, okay? And you should just a little lean forwards, you should be able to feel that stretch, so just hold it there for me. Good. Make sure in this position as well, you always think about having your knees to the ceiling, okay? What often happens is the knees roll in. We want to try and keep them open, facing the ceiling, so you really get a good, deep stretch. Good. Like I said, if you need a little bit more of a stretch, we have loads of stretch programs on Instructor Live as well, which are really good for after workouts, just to lengthen the muscles back out again. Good, okay, push up. Lovely, and bring your legs in. Good, okay, well done, guys. Excellent work. If you would like to do more uh, aerobics, we do have aerobics uh, uh, programs on Instructor Live, so jump on there and you can do more of what we've done today. Otherwise, well done and have a lovely day.